What's good, y'all? Today I'm today I'm going to be showing you uh, the location of every single guild and also how to get into them, their requirements, their bonuses, all the good stuff. But before we start things off, I'd like you guys, I'd like to ask you guys to to subscribe because only about 1.5% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. It would help me out a ton at the moment, and if you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe later. That being said, the first guild I'm going to be showing you how to get is Gladiator. The requirements are up on screen right now, along with the benefits of it and how to rank it up alongside that as well. And I'll be showing you all the locations uh, from the starter base as well. And a starter base, a starter village for the sake of, well, reference. It's the easiest people will remember. And this is the location for Gladiator. So I'll just speed this up and just follow it along. You'll get there just fine. And when you get to him, make sure you have the requirements, otherwise he'll call you a good two-shoes. For me, I'm in it already. But yeah, he can also teach you something for tennis speed. I have not yet gotten this, but you can always just get it, fuck around with it, whatever. Well, let's get on to the next one. Alright, now I'm going to be showing y'all how to get the Scholar slash Mage Guild. This guild, this guild's requirements are up on screen right now along with the benefits. The requirements are kind of elusive at the moment since the nothing is confirmed. But these are just what, I, what level I was at, what stats I had when I got this. So if you want to play it safe, you can go ahead and just copy those down. And I'll be going over from the start of the village as well. So just follow me along and you'll get there just fine. And we have arrived at the place. If you just walk in here, you can see the mage lady over here. And for, by the way, every level up, you can talk to them basically. And for 10 SP, you get something cool. Just cool little information. And the way to rank up, uh, mage is also on screen right now on the side. You'll get quests like uh, murder like eight magic mobs. This is a second quest. Uh, the first quest is to just spam abilities, so, yeah. And now, on to the next one. Now I'll be showing y'all how to get into the Knight Guild from the Starter Guild, or Starter Village. Here are the requirements up on screen for the Knight Guild, the benefits, and how to rank it up. Also, this man got that beat on him. Jeez. Is it in a shop? Shit. Molten ring, huh? I might buy that later. I have the Robux, but I don't know which character would want it. Well, for now, I'll be showing you how to get there from the starter town, so let's get it. Oh, yeah, by the way, just a little reminder while I'm running there. It's not necessary to have full armor for this or full resistant armor. But it will help you greatly in case you like have to fight something or something like that. So yeah, keep that in mind.
And for those that are low by chance, you can heal up there and just one just in case. But we continue. And we're here. It's just right up there. And we're at the night headquarters. And the NPC for the night quest itself is over here. The night armor is over here. And this is basically how you get night. There's also like quests like Jace here you can take if you feel like it. I don't know. Go wild. But this is how you upgrade the night class. First quest is to murder, um, what is it? Yeah, s s solo, they're not solo, just kill 30 winter wolves and 10 normal wolves. The second quest is solo two iron slayers, and the third one, I don't really know, but I'll be upgrading this class as well, just to show you what you get from upgrading it. You get the anvil. I don't exactly know what that means, but hey. Now, it's time to move on to the next one. Now I'm going to be showing y'all how to get the Vampire Guild. The requirements are up on screen right now, along with the benefits and how to rank it up. And I'll be showing y'all a path from Starter Village, so let's get it. Now, when you get to this place, you just summon the hand, and basically, I do have to warn you guys that if you pick Vampire early on, not only will you lose basically all ability to heal yourself, because no inns will actually let you spawn in them or heal, I believe, uh, you will also not be able to say, yeah, not set spawn, all that shit, and you have to basically sacrifice your HP to set spawns. And, yeah, the benefits are really good, but you have to evolve this, and evolving it is kind of a goddamn annoyance. Um, so, yeah, by the way, another thing, do not kill the investigator uh, in the original quest. Like, the first few quests, do not kill the investigator, because he is a vampire. Also, cool little thing, a vampire turns your eyes red. So, if, if you want red eyes on any race, go ahead, get, your, get yourself a vampire. Now, on to... The next one. And now I'll be showing y'all how to get Monk. The requirements for Monk, its benefits, and how to upgrade it are all on screen. And now, just follow along and you'll get there just fine. And from Bob Town, you just want to head right up there, just straight from the end, just go up there. And here's the monk location, the first armory you can get. And if you take, if you talk to them, right? Basically. They'll give you a quest to go put a coin into a grave somewhere over in that direction. After you do that, you can come back, talk to him again, and he will give you uh, the monk. He will, and like basically, let you join the monk guild. And now I'll be moving on to uh, the things I couldn't get on my slots since there was only five. So yeah, let's get on to those now. And now I'll be showing y'all how to get the thief guild. And 
Uh, here are the requirements on screen, the benefits, and how to upgrade them. And now I'll be showing you how to get there, so follow me. And we are at the place with the thief guild. Uh, here's a thief armor over here. And if you go up these stairs or ladders, you will you will see the thief guild, the thief guild man. And now I'll be going on to the next one. So let's get on to that. Now I'll be showing y'all how to get the cleric slash uh, holy holy guild. Uh, the requirements are on the screen as well as long with the benefits as well and how to rank it up. And how to get there, uh, I'll speed this up so you can follow me and you'll get there. This right here is where you'll be able to get the quest for the holy blade and the holy handle so you can get the sword and this is where you can join the guild with if you have the requirements and here's the armor as well and now I'll show you all the next the next guild so let's get to it now I will be showing you how to get the hex skill here are the requirements on screen for it and his bonuses and how to upgrade it which i don't actually know how to so this is the only one i'm not going to be including i don't really know much about hex skill in general but i will be showing you where you can get it and like around how so let's get to it And you can rest here on the way, maybe get some armor as well for heat resistance, because we are going to be going to the deadlines, so it is up to you. And now you just cross the bridge. Kind of be careful. Now... You should see a church here. Now, if you go inside, you'll find this Iron Slayer just sitting dead. Oh, it's trying to kill itself, but if you do want this, do not kill the Iron Slayer. If you do not have a guild, it will give you a, basically an option if you're like high enough level. And maybe like, I, I don't think you need any negative ref, rep, but you could get it if you wanted to, just in case. My friend said it's most likely just level because he got it with when he was like level 20-ish somewhere there. And he'd done some like quests as well. So yeah, he will give you an option to basically join the X guild if you do not have a guild. And that's all the guilds in the game. But there is another one that I actually want to showcase to y'all or actually show you that might be added in the future of the game. And that would be the Dragon Temple, or as I like to call it, the previous game's Dragon Evolution Guild, the Draco Guild. So yeah, I'll be showing you its location. I'll be showing y'all where it is from this dude's quest over there. The entrance to the ice place that I showcased.
and we have arrived. The Draconic Shrine for each of the colors of the dragons, right here. And the place where, this is the same place where, used to, where the Draco Guild quest was supposed to be. But as far as I know, I don't think this is in the game yet. If it is, I haven't figured out how to get it. And there, if you're also wondering and can't find this armor set, the Crimson Art. The Crimson Rogue armor is over here. And that's that's all about all I would want to say for now. If you did enjoy this video and found this like informative, please do like and subscribe. And do give me like suggestions on what you want to see next. Maybe like a leveling guide or how to use weapons, etc. How to invest SP correctly. I'll be making more videos regardless, but I would like to hear your opinion. But that's all about that's all about it for now. I'll see y'all later. I'd, I'd just like to say, y'all some bitches.